Good day everyone! So in this video lesson, we are going to discuss measures of relative position, especially z-scores. A z-score measures the distance between an observation and the mean measured in units of standard deviation. So we are going to use this formula, value minus the mean all over the standard deviation. For population data, we're using this formula. So this is z, uh, no, x minus the mean. So we're going to use this symbol, the mu symbol, over the standard deviation. And for sample data, we're using this formula. So x minus the mean over the standard deviation. So if the z-score is positive, okay, remember, if the z-score is positive, the positive score is above the mean. If the z-score is 0, the score is the same as the mean. If the z-score is negative, the score is below the mean. Again, if the z-score is positive, okay, meaning that the score is above the mean. If z-score is 0, the score is the same as the mean. And if the z-score is negative, the score is below the mean. For example, an IQ test has a mean of 105 and a standard deviation of 20. Find the corresponding z-scores for each IQ. So first, is the score is 88. So using the formula, value minus the mean over standard deviation. So substitute lang natin. So that is 88 minus 105. So well, the value of mean is 105 over 20 or 88 minus 105 divided by 20 so the answer is negative 0 0.85 since uh, the value of our z-score is negative so therefore 88 is below the mean next 122 okay if our score is 122 same process using the formula we substitute 122 minus 105 divided by 20 so 122 minus 105 divided by 20 the answer is 0 0.85 and 0 0.85 is positive therefore 122 is above the mean next 110 same process using the formula we're going to substitute 110 to our x so that is 110 minus 105 divided by 20 so 110 minus 105 divided by 20 that is 0 0.25 and then 0 0.25 is a positive number so uh, meaning our z-score is positive therefore 110 is above the mean next which of the following exam grades has a better relative position a grade of 43 on an algebra test with the with a mean of 40 and the standard deviation of 3 or a grade of 75 on geometry with a mean of 72 and standard deviation of 5 so in order to find which uh, which of the following exam grade has a better relative position we need to find out the z score of the two tests Okay, first the algebra test with a score of 40, uh, with a grade of 43. Okay, well, let's find out the value of the z score. So 43 minus 40, why 40? So that is the uh, mean value. So 43 minus 40 divided by 3, the answer is 1. So in algebra test, the z score is 1. Next, for geometry test, with a score uh, with a grade of 73 so that is what after that a grade of uh, this is uh, okay for a grade of 75 for your uh, geometry test so that is 75 minus 72 divided by 5 and that is 0 0.6 so what do you think so which of the following exam grade has a better relative position since uh, in your algebra test, the z-score is 1, and for geometry grade, no, that is algebra, yeah. And for geometry, that is 0 0.6. What do you think? 
Okay, since the z-score for the algebra test is larger, the position in the algebra test is higher than the position in the geometry test. Okay, another application. Raul has taken two tests in his chemistry class. He scored 72 on the first test, for which the mean of all score was 65 and the standard deviation was 8. He received a 60 on the second test, for which the mean of all score was 45 and the standard deviation was 12. In comparison to other students, did Raul do better on the first test or the second test? Okay, let's find out. So, for a score of 72, so 72 minus 65, since that is the mean of all score, so 65, and the standard deviation is 8. So, 72 minus 65, that is 0 0.875. So, again, 72 minus 65 over 8, that is equal to 0 0.875. And that is for the first test. Next is for the second test. With a score of 60. So that is 60 minus 45. Since uh, the, score, the score of Raul on the second test is 60 minus 45. That is the mean of all score in the second test. 60 minus 45 divided by 12. So that is 1.25. So therefore, uh, did Raul do better on the first test or on the second test? Yes, Raul scored better on the second test than he did on the first test. Okay, another class, what if the C-score is given on the problem? Okay, like for example, in this problem, a consumer group tested a sample of 100 light bulbs. It found that the mean life expectancy of the bulbs was 842 hours with a standard deviation of 90. One particular light bulb from the Dora Bright company had a Z-score of 1.2. What was the lifespan on this light bulb? Again, in this problem, Okay, the value of z-score is given, and that is 1.2. So, how we're going to, f so meaning x is unknown in this problem. So, how we're going to do it? Applying the same formula. So, let's get first the uh, given value in order to find the value of x. So, the z-score is 1.2, and the value of the mean life expectancy of the bulb was 842, and the standard deviation is 90. So using this give uh, the three given, so we're going to substitute in the formula. So 1.2 is equal to x minus 842 divided by 90. So kapag ganitong equation, we are going to apply the LCD or just simply multiply 90 to 1.2. So 90 times 1.2, that is 108 is equal to x minus 842. And after that, solve for x. So, x is equal to 950. Why? Because negative 842, uh, meaning you're going to add on both sides 842. Or simply uh, transpose negative 842 to the left side. That's why the value of x is 950. So, therefore, the light bulb had a lifespan of 950 hours. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.